Chairman and uh, members of the uh, Committee of the Whole, uh, we are uh, pleased uh, to present to you uh, Senate uh, Memorial 30. I will inform you that uh, an identical uh, measure was introduced in the House, House Bill 22, uh, that uh, if not already heard, will be, will be heard. And, and Mr. Chairman and, and members of, of the committee, I, I also want you to understand that the memorial does not in any way want to bash the gas company. We, we understand what occurred, occurred. We understand the after effects of the event uh, were traumatic and, and extraordinary. And uh, to the degree that, that they could assist, they did. But nonetheless, we recognize that what is important to all of us in the state of New Mexico is that this does not happen again, ever. It doesn't need to happen in this, in this state and in this nation at this time in our history. Uh, Mr. Chairman and, and, and members of the committee, I also uh, echo the sentiment expressed uh, with the way Governor Martinez uh, reacted and acted upon hearing of, of the event and the uh, many things that she did to try to make uh, folks a little more comfortable uh, to assure she traveled into northern New Mexico, personally invited me to, to, to travel with her. I could not. I was in, in the session at the time. But she assured me that she would uh, engage the National Guard. Ultimately, uh, when we recognized that the problem would not be remedied immediately, she also uh, called upon FEMA, and at the bequest of the uh, local county commission, at least in Taos, uh, she declared an emergency, which is, in effect, what occurred. A serious, uh, very, very serious uh, emergency in not just northern New Mexico, but in the communities of Alamo Gordo and Silver City and, and Española and, and many others. Uh, Mr. Chairman and, and members of the committee, I got involved after a constituent's call, uh, concern about the fact that they had no heat, concern about the fact that uh, they could not uh, get any information as to what was going on, determine the duration of the outage. It's not uncommon in northern New Mexico to have utility outages. We're used to that. People are resilient. But you got to remember, this time of the year, in, in northern New Mexico, we depend on an industry that comes in for recreational activity, and they expect, they expect and demand good services from the community. They expect the restaurants to be open. They expect the hotels to provide comfortable and warm beds for them in the evening. And if they don't get that, they will go elsewhere. And ha that has a tremendous impact in northern New Mexico for all of us, including the state of New Mexico. Uh, Mr. Chairman and members of the, uh, of the Committee of the Whole, keep in mind that what occurred has occurred, and then going forward, we need to do several things, including determine the amount of damage and to whom, determine uh, what was the threat to public safety and public health. We have individuals who are handicapped who cannot fend for themselves, go out and, and get wood. And in most cases, frankly, if, if, if you needed wood and were not accustomed to go out, Forest Service rarely allows folks to get in and, and harvest uh, firewood. So that, that's a problem that needs to be addressed uh, and, and addressed uh, uh, to, uh, to the satisfaction of individuals that, uh, that were uh, um, disenfranchised over the, uh, the occurrence. And then everything that, that follows from there, uh, the, the loss of business, the loss of income, the inconvenience to individuals, because let me tell you, if you don't bathe for four or five days, it becomes a very inconvenient uh, issue. Uh, and uh, if, if particularly you're suffering a cold, whether you're, you're, you're ill or whether you're, you're uh, healthy, it is, it is not fun. It is a hardship on individuals. And everything 
that occurred that surrounding that essentially, essentially demanded that we elected officials immediately do something. And, and Mr. Uh, Chairman and, and members of the committee, Senate Memorial, all it does, it asks that the Public Regulatory Commission convene a task force, look at what occurred, why did it occur, and particularly advise us all and how we can assure the population of the state of New Mexico that this will not happen again, whether it is Taos or whether it is Albuquerque or whether it is uh, uh, Roswell, it does not matter. What matters is that we work together to resolve the problem. I will yield to uh, Senator Martinez, uh, who, who also received uh, as many calls as I did over the course of this event.